Hello, welcome to Excel Tips by the HR Diary. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Excel's match function. The match function is another powerful lookup function in Excel. The match function looks up a numeric or text value in an array and returns the position of it within the array. This is the syntax of the match function. The lookup value is the value that you want to look up. You can look up numeric or text values. The lookup array is the data array that you want to search. The match type here is a logical argument which can be set to either 0, 1, or negative 1 to return a result if you want as an exact match to be found or to return the position of the closest match below or above if an exact match isn't found. In this video, I will show you these four examples of how to use the match function in Excel. Here, I have four columns of data. In the first example, here, let's use the match function to find the position of the name Jane. So I want to use the match function to find the position of Jane, right? So to get started, let's begin by entering the command equal match, open parenthesis. As you can see, the match function takes a number of parameters. The first parameter we will enter is the value that we want to search for in the array. In this example, we want to look up the name Jane. To do that, type open quotes and type the word Jane, close quotes, and comma. Next, the second parameter is the array or the range of cells that contain the value Jane that we are searching for. Here, we will select the name range from D6 to D12 because Jane is within this range. And then type comma. So the third parameter is the match type where you need to select 1, 0, or negative 1. All right. This parameter determines whether we want to find an exact match or the closest match. Since we want to look for the first value that is exactly equal to the name Jane, which, is, which means exact match, we will enter zero as our match type parameter and then close parenthesis and hit enter. You should see the value seven appear here. So what does this mean? Seven means that the match function found the name Jane in the seventh edition in this name range. All right? So this is the seventh position. One, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the seventh position. All right. So I've covered the first example, how to find an exact match for a text value. So in our second example here, let's use the match function to find the position of the ID number 150. So I want to find this, the position of this ID number 150. To get started, let's begin by entering the match command equal match, open parenthesis. The first parameter we will enter is the value that we want to search for in the array. In this example, we will enter the ID number 150 and then comma. The second parameter is the array or the range of cells that contain the value 150 that we are searching for. So here I will select the ID range from C6 
to C child. And let's put a comma. And the third parameter is the match type. This parameter determines whether we want to find an exact match or the closest match. Since we want to find we want to look for the first value that is equal to the ID number 150. We will enter 0. All right? Not 1. We will enter 0 as our match type parameter. Then type in the close parenthesis and hit enter on the keyboard. You should see the value 5 appear. 5 means that the match function found the ID number 150 in the fifth position, in the fifth position in this range. So in the fifth, one, two, three, four, five. So we found it in the fifth position. Now, what happens if a match is not found? So let's see if we want to look up the value, for example, 151. There is no 151 here. So let's tap in 151. And hit enter. You should see the value NA here. This means that the match function did not find the ID number 151, did not find any 151 in the list of salary in this range C6 to C12. Now, in our third example, let's find the largest ID number that is less than or equals to 151. To do this, the ID number array must, when you want to use the number one or minus one, all right, here, the ID number, when you want to use one, this ID number column must be sorted in ascending order. So you see the numbers is in ascending order. So this, this means that for the ID number range from here to here, the smallest ID number must be found in the cell C6 and the largest ID number must be in the cell C12. So we will start with by typing equals match, open parenthesis, and we will enter 151 as the first parameter, comma, and then we will select cell C6 to C12 as the second parameter. But this time, uh, put a comma there, but this time we will enter 1. Earlier we entered 0, now we enter 1 as the third parameter. Then close parenthesis and hit enter. You should see the value 5 appear. 5 is the position of the ID number range C6 to C12, where 150 is the largest value that is less than or equals to 151. All right? Now, in our fourth and last example, let's find the smallest salary that is greater than or equals to the salary 2499. All right? Visually, this is the number. But let's use the match function to, to do this. So to do this, the salary array, when you want to use negative one, this match type, the salary array must be sorted in descending order. This means that for this range, the largest salary must be found in cell in this cell. And the smallest salary must be found in this cell. So we will start with the match formula by typing equals to match, open parenthesis, and then we enter 2499 as the first parameter. Then we put a comma and we will select the range, the salary array from here to here. All right. And then after putting this, we will type a comma. Okay. And this time we will enter minus one as the third parameter 
close parenthesis and hit enter. So you should see the value 3. 3 is the position in the salary array, in this salary array. So the, is the 3 is the position in a salary array where 2,500 is the smallest value that is greater than or equals to the salary 2,499. All right, this completes our example of how to use Excel's match function. That's it. Thanks for watching Excel Tricks by the HR Diary. If you are not a, a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so that you get notified about similar videos that we upload. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel.